Yeah. All right, so welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Maria. This is Strength and Stretch. Now, we are 45 minutes. This will allow us a little bit more time to do a little bit of more stretch, a little bit more strength, more balance, and just kind of take our time working our way through the exercises that we do. So we're gonna start a little bit unusual today. We're gonna start down on our mats, then we'll make our way up, but we're gonna go ahead and get on all fours with our heels, our toes just hanging off the edge on the floor, okay? And the rest of us here on the mat, okay? So first, let's just walk our hands out and just go into a child's pose. Just soften the feet under you and just go to a child's pose. Maybe walk the hands to one side, lean in one direction, then walk your hands to the other. Just do this a couple times. Creating a little bit of movement. And then once you're back to center, you're gonna go ahead and come up on all fours, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. And you're gonna take the hand closest to me and you're gonna thread it under your body, look in that direction and then bring it out and open up to the side. Close it and open. With each movement, see if maybe you get a little bit lower towards the mat bringing that shoulder down a little bit more, bending that other arm a little bit more. Good. Two more times. One more. And up, bring that down. Now, you can do this standing too, Julie, if you don't wanna be on your knees, okay? But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back into that child's pose and then come up into a little cobra. Go back into that child's pose and then lean forward. Good. Loosening up the back, getting a little motion in the shoulders and hips. Couple more. One more time. And then pause in the center again, stack yourself again. Now let's take the other hand. Let's lace it under, lower, and then open out to the side. Bring it in and open and looking in that direction. Good, supporting with that one arm on the ground, bending it, three more. Lace it in, two more, one more time, and pause in the center again. Now flex your toes so that your toes are on the ground. You're going to hover up into what's called a quadruped, and you're going to let the hips sink back and then come into a plank, and then the hips go back and plank, really pushing through, back, in, two more, one more time, and then pause in the center, flex those toes, walk those hands in, and let's slowly Roll ourselves up off the mat, one vertebrae at a time. Just coming up, 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 up. And then to standing. All right, let's stand behind our mats now. Let's do some standing work and we'll, we'll bring it back down to just a little bit. All right, let's keep doing some active stretching while working on our balance the whole time. So we're gonna lunge twice to the right, come to center, lunge behind twice, and then go in the other direction. Just follow my cues here, and then actually try to go with the beat here a little bit. So we're gonna go out and in, out. Now lunge it back, reach and in, 
reach, go the other way. Lunge and dip. Good. Now lunge it back, reach, reach. Go right, lunge for two. Good, lunge it back, lift those arms. One more time, go left, lunge and dip. Lunge, back, reach. Now hold this lunge back right here. So your back heel is down, arms are up. Drop the hands right here. This is your side view here. Now let's lift high up on those toes and down. Balls of the feet, heel comes down. Good. So your front leg is supporting you. You're loosening up that back leg. Two more. Two, one, and pause. Now put your hands on the supporting leg. Push the back heel down and feel the inner edge of that heel on the ground. Straighten the back of the knee. Pull your navel in to straighten yourself up a little bit more. And then now let's use some low post arms here. Arms come up and open those back as you hold this position. We're even opening the hands, getting a stretch in the fingers. And drop the arms. Now from here, take this back leg in halfway. I want to target the Achilles tendon in the back of the heel area. So we're going to bend both knees and push down, keeping the heel on the ground and back. Bring the hands in front, straighten your gaze, hold this. So you feel a bent leg behind, keeping the heel on the ground. Believe it or not, that's stretching your lower calf area and heel. And then bring that up. Shake that out, loosen that up. Now, let's turn the other way. Well, you don't have to turn. You can still stay facing you. We're going to lunge forward with the other leg. And we're going to start lifting high and in. High up on the balls of the feet and down. Heel comes up, press. Up. Two more. Loosening that up. And pause here. Let's do the same thing. Check that both your toes are pointing in the same direction. Back heel is down. Back knee is straight. And feel the inner edge of that heel on the ground. Pull the navel in. Feel that hip stretch. And this time we're going to stay upright, but we're going to turn the hands out, push the hands forward, even opening the thumb and the pinky. Balancing. And I challenge you to close your eyes and see if you can hold this with your eyes closed. And then release the arms, open the eyes. Bring that back leg halfway in. And now let's sink the weight down. But keep that heel on the ground. So the knees going towards the ground. You get a good bend in your ankle, a stretch in the lower back leg. Holding, looking forward. And if you start letting those shoulders slide up, drop them down. And bring that up. Okay, wiggle that around. And let's just do a little pedaling. So you're just gonna stand on both feet under the hips. You're gonna pedal and pedal. Go slow first. Pedal. Good, get a little movement in the arms. Pedal, pedal. Shoulders down, eyes forward. Now go a little quicker, lifting a little bit more. Think of lifting. You can't go any lower than the ground here, but you can lift a little higher. Heel comes up, heel comes up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one and release. And once again, just shake that out. Okay, we are gonna have our feet hip to shoulder width apart. And you're gonna keep them that way. And you're gonna try to avoid the knees coming in, keep that space. First, just start with your hands right here at the crease where your leg comes into your hip socket here. And you're just gonna let the tailbone go back and glance at a diagonal at the floor in front of you. And kind of look with your eyes, kind of tilt your head. Can you still see your toes? If you can't, sit back a little farther with your rear end, keep those knees back. Now let's come up, reach with the arm and sit back. Let the hands come down as you come up. Sit back. You're going into an imaginary chair. Your gaze is staying forward. And as your arms come up, you're still keeping your shoulder blades down. Now let's go slowly down for three. One, two, three, push up through the heels on four. Everyone at their own level. Some of you may keep it high. Some of you may go a little deeper. Down, two, three, one more. Down, keep those knees apart. And this time, let's go slowly down and we're gonna hold it. Eyes are angled towards the hands. Hold those shoulder blades back. Holding here. Go a little deeper if you can. Holding, weight on the heels, pull those toes up. Seven, six, five, raise up a little if you need to. Three, two, one, and come up. Woo, that's why we know, need those fans in here. Shake those out. We're actually doing that next, Julie. We're gonna put our toe on the ground and keep it close to the body and you're gonna circle the knee in and out, getting some rotation in the hip and the knee joint and the ankle, and then pause and go the other direction, staying steady on this other leg and never collapsing, we're staying tall. And then let's switch legs, left leg now, toes on the ground, start circling that one direction, doesn't matter which way. and then pause and go the other direction. And in. And let's just do our flopping side to side. We let our heel lift off so we can just rotate a little further. Head follows the motion. And then let the arms just come a little higher, just swing them a little higher. and back lower, and then back to center and pause. All right, there's a whole sequence I do wanna do down on the mat. So if you'd like to come down, just take your time. We're gonna go face down on the mat. Let me get a sip of water, grab water. Anytime you need it, we're getting a little warm in here. Now we're gonna do a sequence on all fours, but you're able to do that laying down too. If you do not wanna stay on your knees the whole time, you can just get on all fours and do, or um, lay down all the way and not have that pressure on your knees. Knees are under the hips, hands are under the shoulders. And then let's, let's breathe a couple of times and help get our back in position. We're gonna inhale and give me a cow looking forward, and then we're gonna exhale, curving up like a cat. I don't curve excessively, go ahead and inhale. I have a mild case of osteoporosis, so I avoid how much I round, but you go ahead and round as much as you need to, or you can. And then settle your back, 
in the middle. So in between those two extremes, settle yourself. And feel the weight even with your hands and your knees. And I'd like you to lift your right arm out in front as the left leg goes behind you. You're gonna pause here. Try to get your weight even on the hand and the knee that stay on the ground. Holding, hold the navel in, drop the shoulders. And now without letting your torso move, you're gonna pull the elbow and the knee in. And you're gonna push back out, in, out. A little slower than the music, in. If you need to drop the knee every time, that's okay. In. And now two more, one more, and drop both things and just stretch back into a child's pose or whatever feels good for you. That may not be your preferred stretch. All right, let's come back to tabletop. Now you know what to expect. It's a balance challenge once you start moving those limbs. So let's take the left hand and the right leg out. I feel a little less stable on this side. So decide what you need to do to rectify this. Good. And start pulling the knee and the elbow in and out. Nice and steady. Looking out at the diagonal, keeping that gaze on the same spot. Good. Three. Two. One more. And out. And again, stretching back. Anybody else find that challenging? <laughs> we can't talk. <laughs> we can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, hands under the shoulders. You're going to be on your toes or on your knees for a set of push-ups. But regardless of your position, notice I'm putting my hips in alignment with my ears and my knees, or I'm going to keep everything in alignment when I come up. We're going to go down for three slow. Exhale on four. So it's going to go down, two, three, push up on four. Down, two, three, push up on four. Down, two, three, push on four. Down, two, try not to let those heads drop. They stay in line with your back the whole time. Two, three, one more. Down, two, three, push up, and once again, stretching back. And now let's go into a cobra with the arms coming down to the mat, elbows down, palms down, point the toes, Lengthen through the toes and then lengthen up through the crown of your head as you look towards the wall in front of you. And again, this is where I stop on my cobra, but if you want to push a little farther up through the hands, arch yourself back farther, that's fine. But breathe here. Now we're going to make a little sequence here. We're gonna go back into a child's pose, come back into a planked arm position, down for one push up and up. On the second push up, we hold it down and go right into a cobra. And it's just gonna flow, all right? So let's go ahead and sit back here and then come up into your preferred push up position, slowly down, slowly up slowly down till you get all the way and then over right here and then back up on the knees sink back push up position knees or feet down 
One more slow down slope. Cobra, look forward. And we do that one more cycle. So push up, sink back. Come back in, strong push ups here. Slowly one time down and up. Now slowly down, 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 down. You guys flop down. <laughs> and then look forward. There was no grace in that. We were trying to remember. And <laughs> come down. All right, let's shift ourselves down the mat. Just put your forehead on your hands and bring your feet up. And let's just roll the ankles a little more slowly than you might normally. And then the other direction. How much tension is your under your shoulders and your upper body? Soften that up. Now point the toes and then push them down to the ground and push the tops of your laces and the tops of your ankles down into the floor, just holding here as you breathe. And then soften the feet, walk the feet apart, and let's just take heels in and out, windshield wiper feet. And then wobble the legs back and forth a little bit on the mat. Okay, we are gonna transition into our side leg and inner thigh work. We're gonna lay on one arm facing me. Now you have two positions here. I prefer the arm under you, your body stays long, but if you'd prefer to come up on your elbow and your shoulder, you may, but the one position you're not allowed to be in is this right here. Can anybody tell me why? Look what that does to my cervical spine, my neck. It completely tilts it, it puts all this pressure here. It's not a good position. I know people watch TV this way, they do all kinds of things. Try to get out of that habit and stay down or come halfway up. All right, so we're down. Our legs are just slightly bent, just so we feel like we're supported on the mat. And this top hand can just gently rest on the floor in front of you. You're gonna hover the top leg, flex the foot and straighten the leg. So the toes are pulled towards you. The side of your ankle and the side of your leg are facing up and they're gonna stay that way. If you notice your toe starting to angle up, you keep that down and you stop and readjust. So we're gonna lift the leg up, not real high, but just lift and lower, keeping the side of the ankle the side of the knee going towards the ceiling. Perfect, yes. I can't see you all at home on the screen, but everyone here looks really good, keeping that leg turned down. Now pause with the leg at a little higher than hip height. Bend the bottom leg just an inch or two in, just for a little support. Stay on your side body. See if you can keep yourself from tilting forward. You're gonna pull your knee in towards you and press out strong. Does this look familiar, Elaine? Yeah. <laughs> we do this in total body strength periodically. So in, now notice, I'm not letting this leg drop onto the lower one. I'm keeping it hovered and I'm pushing strong through the heel every time I press out. And now we're gonna pause and we're gonna put those two motions together. So we're gonna lift up, in, bend, and press. Anytime you need to stop and shake it out, go right ahead. Press, up, down, bend, and press. One more, up, down, bend, and press and drop that down. Shake that out. Everybody feel that? Mm -hmm. You get one more little round on that side. I call this the horseshoe. 
So once again, just get a little bend with the bottom leg and just feel that your head, your neck, everything's soft, your jaw's not tensing. Now you're gonna lift the leg higher than hip height. And already you're like, oh, that's, that's sore. We already use that a lot. You're gonna angle, think of a horseshoe. I want the horseshoe to come down to the floor, back up to where it is and back behind me. I'm gonna do that by tilting the toe down, tapping, and then tilting the heel back, tapping, keeping myself from rotating out as much as I can. Fold this navel in, but really lift that leg, make it tap forward, just barely tap back without dropping that weight. Good. Down. One more time. Big horseshoe. And then in. And bend both knees in. Bend them both in. And then take this top leg and extend it out in front of you. And just pause right here and just kind of, you can rub it a little bit, you can shake it out, whatever feels good. All right, we're gonna give that top leg a break. We're gonna focus on the bottom leg now. We're gonna bring this top leg in front and either just keep it low, or some of you may be able to put the bottom of the foot down on the ground and bring it in, in front of the other leg. And you're gonna stay long. The leg is just going out from your body. Head stays long on the arm. If you're starting to tuck your chin in, open that up. Now we're gonna hover the lower leg off the ground an inch or two, flex the foot again, and the inner ankle and the inner knee lift up and down. It's not a big motion, just small up. If you can keep that leg from dropping to the ground in between each lift, but if you need to, drop it and get a little bit of a release. Good, really push up. And now you're gonna hold it up, point the toe, keep that point. My arm is gonna demonstrate here. Act like your toe is a ballpoint pen and you've just stuck it into the paper. And now you're rotating the toe in and then pushing out so you're Foot is just rotating, but your knee, your ankle is coming along without rotating your body on the mat. Everything stays where it is. Good. In and out. Feel the whole thigh rotating. You guys feel this? Yes. A couple more. Keep it hovered if you can. And release. Woo. All right. Let's push ourselves up gently to sitting. And before we go to the other side, we're just gonna wiggle our legs a little in front here, kind of walk up on the mat, walk back on the mat. And let's just take a gentle butterfly stretch here. First, dropping the shoulders, pulling the heels in a little further, and then just pausing here for a moment. As you inhale, feel your chest open, your head grow a little taller. And as you exhale, go out a little bit more with those knees or pull those feet in a little bit more. And let's release. Take your time going to the other side. You have to look at it as a glass half full. We are halfway done with this sequence. So let's either get long on the, on the arm or again up on the elbow without sinking down into the shoulder. Bend the bottom leg a little bit. Hover that top leg, flexing the foot. Side of the knee, side of the ankle stays up as you lift and down. And let your breathing help. As you lift, exhale. As you pull it back in, inhale. Keeping the leg hovered at all times unless you need that little release at the bottom. You can even bend your arm a little bit underneath you. 
Now pause here, a little higher than hip height, and pull the knee in. Flex the foot and press. So strong foot, pull those toes towards you and act like you're pressing a heavy box of books away from you. Good. Press. Two more, and then we'll put them together. Front hand is just helping support a little bit. Pause here, let's go. So we're gonna lift and down, bend and press. Up, down, bend, a little slower than the music. Up, give me two more if you can, strong. Don't let that knee drop down. In, one more, up, in, and out and drop that and relax for just a minute. Move it around. We got the horseshoe still left to do. All right, so both legs are a little bent here just to get yourself stable. Let's lift that top leg higher than the hip height. Keep that toe down. Good, feel that working already. So let's angle the toe, tap it forward. Keep your body in alignment and tap the heel back, opening that hip. But force yourself to make the horseshoe instead of letting gravity drop the foot in both directions. You are pushing and pulling. Keep the leg long the whole time. Good. Three. See how big you can make that horseshoe. Two. One more. And yeah. And bend those legs and let that leg flop forward out in front of you. And again, maybe massage or just pat it a little bit. And then bring that leg in, lengthen your body again so that the bottom leg is long, your arm is long, and decide where you're gonna settle this top leg. Let's hover the bottom leg, flex the foot, now inner knee and the inner ankle are lifting up and down. Up and down. Keeping that foot from dropping if you can. Don't get a lot of movement here, but see how high you can lift and then slowly let that back down. Two more. And now pause, keeping the leg up, point the toe, keep the toe pointed and rotate the thigh and the knee in towards you and then away, keeping that toe pointed the whole time. Good, in and out. And pull and push away. Three more. Two. And one, and drop that down. And again, just wiggle that around. Instead of sitting up, we're gonna stretch a little bit on our back. So take your time getting yourself to your back. And let's bring the knees into the chest. And once you do this, kind of walk your shoulders and your hips around the mat just to feel comfortable and everything open on the mat. Put your hands gently on these kneecaps on the outside and just start going from elbow to elbow on the mat. Just a small massage. And now let's start going a little further. Letting the weight come all the way to one side. And once you're to one side, open the top leg and then let the other leg come with it over the other side. So inhale the leg open. Exhale as you pull over the other side. And 
And the next time you're in the middle, just pause there. And let's settle ourselves here. And once again, if the back gets tight, kind of walk. Get some space in the back. And we're going to let the legs, now flexing the feet, we're going to lift the heels up towards the ceiling. Try to straighten the legs as much as you can, but I'm more concerned about you just having them up there, even if you have to put them in a slight diagonal. Now, keeping the feet flexed, you're gonna lace your hands and place them behind your head and let the elbows just rest on the ground. The head is just gonna rest in the, the hands. It's not going to pull. You're going to pull from your navel. So you're going to inhale here and exhale, just lifting, angling your gaze through, through the little crack between your legs. So curl up and down. Head just comes along. Now, pause here, open the legs as you inhale and exhale, squeezing them back to center. Inhale out, and I want you to lengthen through the inner leg and really pull up. One more time, and pause here. Now we're gonna put those two motions together. Inhale, keep the elbows down and open the legs. And now as you exhale, curl up, pulling the navel in, squeeze it. Inhale out, exhale out. Engaging those legs as well as pulling with the core. Couple more. One more. And now keep the legs open. Take the hands away from the head and put them on the outsides of your thighs, making those little tripods with your elbows down on the ground. Have your hands support the legs, point the toes now, and just go out a little farther with the legs here. Nod your chin so your forehead stays a little higher in your chin, and just pause here. As you inhale, I want you to lengthen out through the toes, as you exhale, maybe let the legs open just a little bit farther. Now you're gonna keep the same stretch as you flex the feet again, press the heels out and feel the inner part of the knee really lengthening. It may not be very comfortable because it's tight. Pause here. And then let's close the legs up. And then let's just once again fold them down. Bring the hands to the outsides of the knees and just pull the knees a little closer to you. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, pull the navel in. Let that round you up and your little egg here. Soften the shoulders in the back and just curve up into a little bowl. Bring the head back down, one leg at a time. Just take the legs back down to the floor. Good. And let's have our feet flat on the ground. Walk the left leg, the heel back a little farther towards your seat, and then cross the right leg over it. And pause here. I want you to push the knee out. And then as soon as you do that, the left hip comes up, so I want you to pull the waist and the hip on the left side back down to the mat and hold it here. If you feel comfortable taking the hands one through the legs, one behind, you're going to pull that thigh up. And with your elbow pushing on the inner leg here, so you're holding your lower leg. You've got your hands laced through the hole behind that left leg, elbows pressing out on your right leg, and just pause here. Inhale into that space, 
exhale, pull them just a little further towards you. And then release that. Take both legs down. Just wiggle them around. And now let's plant this right heel close to our seat. Cross the left leg over, push it out, and then pull your right side of your body back into place. This is a little harder for me because my left hip is tighter and it wants to pull that way. So I'm really having to work to pull myself back into place. Now, if you're ready, grab this bottom leg under the thigh, push out with the elbow on that front leg and pause here and breathe a few times, maybe pulling the legs a little closer to you as you exhale each time. And let's release that down. And let's take both legs down, lay on your side like we were before. Either all the way down on the arm or up on the elbow, but not holding the head all the way up. And you're gonna bend the legs and you're gonna hover the top leg. You're gonna flex the foot, hover it, and then take this top arm and reach in the opposite direction. Take the hand that's on the ground, grab the wrist and pull the arm away from the heel and push out through the heel. So you're reaching in both directions as far as you can. And then release that. Keep the leg lifted, bend it behind you. Keep it off the other leg and decide, is this enough of a stretch or can I grab the foot behind me? I have one of those Charlie horses right now under my thigh and that is not feeling good. So work that out if that's what you've got. All right, holding it here. And let's just release now. Gently push yourself up on the side. And just so we're all still facing forward, we're just going to the other direction. Long body on the mat. Hand underneath you. Let's hover the top foot, flex it, reach away, and then take this top arm and reach away and grab it, the wrist with the other hand and extend in opposite directions as you breathe. Feel your whole side body filling with air and then lengthening a little bit more. And release, bend both legs a little bit, hover the top leg and bend it behind you and decide if you're able to grab and then settle the knee back down but not all the way on the other leg. Keep it hovered up. Chin off your chest, long body through the spine. And then release that. Gently push yourself up to sitting. And let's finish in a seated position, whatever's comfortable for you. Dropping the shoulders here. We're gonna let the right ear fall to the side. And then taking the left hand, just pushing it away towards the floor, creating as much space between the left ear and the left shoulder as you can. With each breath, reaching away a little farther. And then bring that to center. Take that left shoulder, roll it back a couple of times. And then make sure you're sitting tall again. Drop the left ear to the side and push away with the right arm. Each breath creates a little more space between the ear and the shoulder. And then back to center, roll that shoulder back a couple times. 
And let's take a final breath in through the nose and exhale. Okay, good work everybody. I hope you felt like you worked hard, but you stretched, you relaxed, and now you're ready to tackle your day.